So one tool that I utilize in the springtime, especially when there's fish bedding or garden fry or around bluegill beds, is a power shot. It's just a short drop shot, and you can actually throw it on a bait caster, which is what I like about it. I throw it on 16 pound fluorocarbon, but you just take, this is a three-aught FPP high boost of flipping hook. And it's a pretty stout hook, you know, it's got a thin wire so you can still penetrate the fish's mouth, but it's got, you know, backbone to flip them in. And you just tie a regular Palmer knot with a short leader, just like you would for a normal drop shot. And you can adjust the length of your, you know, your leader, but I like a short leader, usually no more than eight inches long. And take this as a quarter ounce tungsten drop shot sinker and uh, take it through and just tie. I don't tie a real heavy knot with it because I want for it to break away before my main knot breaks in case I have a fish hooked and the sinker's hung. So you want your sinker to break away first, and that's happened a lot. But you just want a short leader, just like that. And you can take this as a scissor comb, uh, just a small bait, you know, that kind of imitates a bluegill or anything that's gonna make a fish mad. Because the main thing that you're doing is when you're bed fishing, is you're trying to make the fish mad. And if you can't see them, and you're blind casting for them, you gotta think that their main enemy is a bluegill, and the bluegill always hover. You know, they're not on the bottom of the, not the lake. They're always kind of hovering just a few inches above the bottom of the beds, and that really gets them fired up. And I've had a lot of success with that. You need to give it a try, especially if you're a you know, shallow water fisherman like me looking for an advantage, try to catch a few more fish, flip that around some bushes and see what happens.